in this session we are discussing structure of a query processor so what are the different steps are there through which the query processing will be done and what are the involved models we know that whatever the query we used to write in sql statements the query is not getting executed internally as it is before getting it executed it will consider the required access plan the securities the data dictionary all the other scenarios and aspects and then the optimum query will be generated and that will be evaluated and executed so that's why that is the purpose of the query processor so to describe the structure of a query processor we should consider this particular diagram you know this query is coming as input it will be parsed at first so parser will be doing the parsing parsing means it will check whether the query is in the proper syntax or not any kind of syntactic error is there then that will be detected we know the meaning of this term syntax means grammar g r a m m a r grammar now this particular parsed uh, query will be optimized by the module known as the optimizer while doing this optimizer it will access the data dictionary the question might be coming into our mind what is a data dictionary because in our multiple videos we have discussed this particular term data dictionary so here we have written the um, respective definition of data dictionary data dictionary means a set of information describing the contents formats and structure of a database and the relationships between its elements so it will describe the contents the structure and the formats and the respective relationships between different data residing in the database so all this information will be kept in the data dictionary used to control access to and manipulate manipulation of the database so this particular data dictionary will uh, make the most effective access plan so that the database content can be accessed fruitfully and efficiently then from this particular phase it will come to the disk manager and obviously the disk manager will access this disk this is the disk we have represented this one using one drum here and this disk manager will access the disk content database content and make the query executed through evaluation so this is the structure of a query processor considering all these aspects let us consider some steps some uh, aspects of this query processing we have written this one in the bulleted form so query processing also called query optimizing is the procedure of selecting the best plan or strategy to be used in responding to a database request so query processing can also be called as query optimizing so that we can execute the query in an optimum way the plan is then executed to generate a response so one plan will be made and that will generate the response of the query written initially in sql query processor is responsible to generate its this particular strategy parser in query processor verifies and checks the syntax and feasibility of the query which we have discussed earlier so that that means during this particular process it will generate some parse tree or derivation tree so this parse tree will check whether really this query is having the successful parsing or not then access plans are generated for the for the query transformed into the relational algebraic expressions so in the earlier video also we have told you we have discussed that this particular sql statement will be ultimately converted to relational algebra expressions and using the relational algebraic expression operators so those operators will be there and this query will be translated to that particular form now here we are using this term access plan so in our multiple videos we have used this particular term access plan so let us uh, write the definition for you what is the access plan actually see so access plan is a binary i'm just writing this one here so access plan is a binary representation of steps that are required to carry out the statement it is dbms equivalent of executable code 
So, this is known as the access plan that means it will make the step by step processes or actions to be carried out. So, this is known as the access plan. So, in this particular definition we have defined this access plan separately here in this particular definition and text. See query modifications is called for modification is called for when the query is based on a view. You know that view means through a view a user can see a subset of the database. So, through that view the user cannot see the full database because that is not required for that particular user. Okay. Such queries have been uh, have to be replaced by appropriate queries on base relations. So, we know that it is known as also query substitution. These aims of query processing are to be are to transform a query written in a high level language typically in SQL into correct and efficient execution strategy expressed in a low level language implementing the relational algebra and to execute the strategy to retrieve the required data. So, in one sentence we have discussed what is the actual query processing. I, I think after this particular discussion whatever you have done in multiple videos. So, we have got the idea what is a query processing, what is the structure of the query processing, what are the steps involved in the query processing and how does the query optimizer work. So, in the next videos we will be coming with different case studies and examples. Please watch all of them and that will uh, be the continuation of this particular topic query processing. Thanks for watching this video.